So today we're going to be looking over Miguel's fall off, and I don't mean when he went <laughs> right over the second floor railing and right into some concrete stairs. In rewatching Cobra Kai from season one to season six again, I realized I really used to like Miguel until he fell off. I got a full page of notes to go through, so let's get into it. Miguel really starts off as this skinny nerd. I mean, I swear he weighs a buck two, soaking wet, has braces, crappy haircut, getting bullied at the gas station. They poured this man's grandma's Pepto-Bismol on his head. Why? Later, they straight up jumped this kid in the freaking locker room, beat him with a hockey stick. So you already know what happened. Miguel started training Cobra Kai, and it was raps for everybody in the valley. Johnny turned this man into a genuine menace. So Miguel's just trying to enjoy a peaceful lunch in the cafeteria when he sees Tyler and his three goons bullying Samantha LaRusso. You already know what's up. Miguel's sitting there like, you know what? I'm the main character. I've trained Cobra Kai. I'm gonna go bend him over right now. Pause. So Miguel goes over there and gives Kyler a chance to back off, but you already know Kyler was not about to let this slide, and my man got pieced out. Miguel proceeded to 1v4 the bullies and beat the ever-loving word out of them in front of everybody. And after Miguel clutched the 1v4, my man gained major aura. My man had Kyler doing full 180s in the hallways, at the beach, at the lake. Kyler and his little goons wanted absolutely nothing to do with Miguel Diaz. Then Miguel rises up Samantha LaRusso, takes her out on a nice date, wins her a big old plushy octopus, takes her home. He has secured the bag. Well, not the bag, but in this case, he has secured the girlfriend he said he would never have. Only for Sam to fumble this, not even three episodes later. He gets grounded, doesn't reply to Miguel's text all day, then shows up to a party where he's drunk, holding hands with some other dude. Like, come on now, how, how else was he supposed to read this? How else was this supposed to play out? Please explain to me, Samantha. I can't even lie to you, I see this as an absolute win. You got rid of one of your biggest problems, Miguel, Samantha. Get rid of her, get her out! Then Miguel Diaz decides he's going to absolutely dog walk the entire All Valley Tournament. My man Miguel literally stole Daniel's crane kick and executed it to perfection. Not even five feet in front of Daniel LaRusso and Samantha LaRusso. Then he proceeded to beat the ever-loving dog shit out of Robbie. Put this man on the ground multiple times and won the All Valley Tournament for his team. And what else makes Miguel great is that he never fell too far into the dark side. When Red Hawk started going crazy on some demon time, Miguel put Hawk in his place, found him up in the forest, jumped him up, pieced him up, stole his bandana, stole the Medal of Honor back, and proceeded to give it back to the LaRussos. W man! And after that, he didn't hold anything against Hawk, and Hawk didn't hold anything against him. That's some good shit right there. Then he rizzed up Tori with depression riz. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Tori straight up told Miguel, you better kiss me or I'm gonna catch right this second. But we're gonna count it as Miguel Riz because this is a Miguel video. But now, unfortunately, we must talk about the downfall of Miguel Diaz. The falling off. So Miguel's first mistake was he could not keep his hands to himself. My man immediately went and cheated on Tori with that bitch. I'm so disappointed in you, Miguel. Then, Miguel ended up getting into a fight with Robbie in the middle of the freaking high school, and Lopo got kicked off the second store railing. Like, bro is dead. Bro landed on concrete stairs. Bro's back is broke and not in a good way. Boys! So after he recovers from that, they kind of like merge dojos and shit, and my man straight up starts glazing Daniel LaRusso. Like, it is crazy. My man Daniel has this man. He's teaching Miguel how to drive. He has Miguel out here trying to catch fish with his bare hand. Blue Bro is fully embracing the Miyagi Do way. And it pains me because this is how Bro got his back broke in the first place. This. Show mercy! Show mercy! Now, nah, fuck all that. So, after all this Miyagi Do training and Eagle Fang training and all this, I can't even lie to you, this is a bunch of bullshit. We are back at the All Valley once again. And in the middle of a fight with no Mohawk Hawk, his back gives out. Bro's going for the most intense power of friendship, power of supernova, freaking spinning, flying, levitating, monk ninja backflip kick ever! 
die. And then he just straight up dies. Like, bro got clapped midair. Done. And the stupidest part is after this, this kid decided, I need to go to Mexico and see my real dad because I never met him. Like, bro, what are you smoking? And can I please have some? And after he gets rescued from Mexico, he comes back and he loses to Ravi again. Like, please, where is this man's plot armor? He's the main character, and he should have the Pusso plot armor because he's straight glazing Daniel. Miguel should be able to take out Johnny and Daniel and Terry at the same time with this much plot armor. What the fuck? No, but for real, am I tripping? I thought Miguel was the main character. Is he not like the main character anymore? Is that what happened? All I know is my man better lock in for the Psychai Taikai and cook everybody!